Hello, Leo. Welcome to your weekly reading. This is your forecast for the week ahead, uh, March 30th through April 5th, 2020. Watch this reading if you are a Leo sun sign, Leo moon sign, Leo rising, Leo on the house cusp. If you have your sun in the fifth house or Venus and Leo, watch this reading. Guys, just as a reminder, these are general readings. They may not resonate with everyone. As I always say, for the most accurate reading with the most accurate outcome, please come get a personal private tarot reading with me or your favorite tarot reader out there. Same format as last week, guys, uh, with the six cards here for your week ahead. Um, plus, we're going to be pulling some daily affirmation cards by Cheryl Richardson at the end of your reading for Leo Sun Signs, Leo Moon Signs, and Leo Risings. I'd like to start off with the card at the bottom of the deck here, which is the Nine of Swords in Reverse, Gemini Energy. And so this is the underlying theme or challenge of this weekly reading. And that tells me that, Leo, um, there is someone here who is stressed or is uh, having some trouble sleeping at night. Um, this can manifest as anything from anxiety to literal stress to just being under a lot of pressure. Okay, so the important thing to remember here is that uh, to get the help for this issue, if this is something that you're dealing with, or if this is someone else you're dealing with, I feel like um, it could have to do with your environment. It could have to do with the people you're around. Um, but most importantly, um, uh, this is telling me that something you're going through here is a bit of a nightmare. And it's, uh, I think you'd like, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting, you'd like to walk away from something here that's been, that's very stressful for you. Um, all right. So let's see what that is, or let's, let's get deeper into that. So Leo, how you see yourself today, and we have the Hermit. Okay, so the sign of Virgo. Uh, maybe some of you guys have Virgo in your chart, as I do, uh, Virgo Moon here. Um, you are on a spiritual path for sure, Leo, and maybe you are spending a lot of time alone or would like to spend more time alone. I'm also getting a more introverted energy here. You know that the answers you seek cannot be found in, through any outside source. Uh, they cannot be found in a book. They cannot be found in the media. They cannot be found through another person. The answers are within you. And so the hermit is uh, searching with his lantern for the answers he seeks. And the way that he does that sometimes is by withdrawing from society to contemplate um, as a philosopher would, or even as the Buddhist on the side of the mountain. Um, true knowledge comes from within. All right. Now the theme for you over the next week, Leo, is the three of wands. So I do see you <clears throat> making future plans for yourself here. Maybe you are thinking about a journey you're going to be taking. Um, three of wands is a card of growth here. So it also talks about uh, future plans, future investments, um, thinking about your future, planning your future, taking that next step. So I feel like you already have uh, one or two places in mind here where you'd like to be. Um, this could have to do with a move. It may also indicate travel arrangements. Um, it looks positive, but it's also, like I said, very future oriented here. So you're making plans. I do see that. And you are um, in a period of expansion here, of, of growth. Now, what is something that Leo has already learned in their past that will be useful for them to remember this week? And we have judgment in reverse. Okay. So a couple things come to mind with this card. Judgment in reverse talks about not making a final decision, being judgmental of oneself or one or others. And of course, this can be others being judgmental of you. Uh, there's a certain amount of unforgiveness that comes with us as well when it comes in reverse. It says that we don't fully understand the role that we have played in our actions that have occurred in the past that have brought us to our current situation. And so because of that, we're not um, releasing and healing the past and we're not uh, forgiving and learning from that. So I'm getting this as a little bit of a warning here. Um, it could be that... You found yourself in a similar situation, uh, haven't we all? Um, and also that uh, I understand that it is a risk to to some people to um, to stay in a place where they're 
they're not able to forgive, uh, they're not able to forget. But there is a price, uh, obviously, to that, and that is carrying the burden of that pain into the present and into the future. So here we're not releasing the past. Uh, we or we did when we what happens when we didn't release the past or when we we stayed in an unforgiving place when we placed judgment on others when we were very critical of ourselves and of others um, did that really did that really do us any good um, and of course maybe you are in a situation a similar situation that you, you felt you were being judged or that you were being criticized and um, you know that uh, how that played out so. There's a lesson for you around this uh, major arcana this week. Or there's a lesson that you learned in your, in your past regarding this uh, type of scenario, or this situation that is coming up again for you as a reminder. Um, maybe how you want to do things differently or something like that. How you want to proceed differently this time. The challenge you'll be faced with is the devil in reverse. Okay. Your challenge is to break free from toxic situations, to um, have some sort of breakthrough here. Um, you may feel very tied down. You may feel like things have gone as bad as they're possibly going to get. They can't get much worse. Uh, the devil in reverse as a challenge here is, is saying that um, you're being challenged to break through a toxic situation, to get out of a situation that has uh, maybe made you feel confined, obligated, to committed to, um, unable to break free from. Uh, this can also indicate uh, breaking free from relationships that are codependent, uh, any addictive behaviors, or people that have addictions. And um, I'm just getting the, the breakthrough is in the challenge position this week. Okay. Major Arcana, Major Arcana, Major Arcana. So lots of, you know, Virgo, Capricorn. We have um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius coming up. I don't really, mm, I don't really see a sign coming up with this card. Let me see here. I guess some might say that this is um, Scorpio. Could be Scorpio, Capricorn, Virgo you're dealing with. The lesson that you are learning now, okay, five of cups reversed. All right, so this is telling me that uh, something here, you're getting over something, okay? Uh, there is some sort of grieving process, and uh, this is about recovering from a loss. It is about picking up the pieces here and moving forward, um, not dwelling in or wallowing in sadness um, that that can happen when I see this card this can literally be someone who is um, who wallows a lot over something that happened in their past but more likely you're learning how to pick up the pieces here of your life when it comes to a very sad situation that affected you emotionally uh, recovering from that uh, this row is, is, is kind of speaks for itself. So the gift you will receive, Leo, and we have the star. And so there's a lot of healing coming in. Uh, I did see that for you last week. This is also the sign of Aquarius. Um, I'm seeing optimism for the future. I'm seeing hope for the future. I also see that you're being guided and spiritually protect, protected. Uh, you may be consulting an astrologer or obviously looking to a guide a guide at this point or, or getting messages from your guides and this is extremely positive i'm i feel relieved to see this um, come up for you in this position because um i think as anyone can tell who's looking at these cards yeah it hasn't been easy it has not been easy and in fact i feel like oftentimes you've been criticized or you've been judged unfairly and uh i think that Now's, now's the time for you to, to have this breakthrough and to really um, recover from any losses here and move forward, okay? Um, now, I'm not saying that this isn't going to be stressful for you. You may be under a lot of pressure. In fact, 
this may be outside pressure as well or outside influences coming into the picture here putting pressure on you so um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put the camera down here so we can do the affirmations for Leo Sun Moon and Risings okay guys sorry about the, the the angle there it's not perfect okay so for Leo Sun signs what is the affirmation for Leo Sun signs Hey Leo, something regarding your relationships is coming through. And it says, I allow others to have their thoughts and feelings. Okay, Taurus Moon had the same, the same card come up. So maybe you're dealing with a Taurus Moon or this is a, a Taurus with Leo in their chart. I allow others to have their thoughts and feelings. Leo Moon Signs. Leo Moon, something regarding your relationships wants to come through. And it says, I surround myself with authentic and loving people who share my journey of personal growth and awakening. And this also came up for a Taurus sun sign. So again, maybe you guys are dealing with a Taurus this week. But then again, maybe not. I don't want to spoil it for you if you're not. Okay, Leo Risings. Leo rising, something universal wants to come through, a universal message or universal love. And it says, my life is a constant stream of miracles. My life is a constant stream of miracles. Lovely, lovely messages, Leo. Thank you guys so much for tuning in for this weekly reading. And uh, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. Um, if you'd like to book a personal private tarot reading, my information is below in the description box below this video. And uh, I hope you guys all have a healthy, safe week ahead. Thanks for tuning in.